don't blame you. So you're the history center, the family history center. Family history center. Yeah, how long do you have this uh, center? Excuse me? How long do you have this center? How long? Well, it's been here for about 15, 20 years. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's been here a long time. There's okay. several, there are several centers. This center that we're involved in is a, is a, is a local center okay. off of Scott Creek in Green Valley. Yeah. Yeah, and you have this. Okay. And uh, the main center, local center, is up in Oakland. It's got a lot oh, of information on family history. Okay. We even got some Chinese uh, uh, family group sheets and pedigree charts over here if okay. you want one. <laughs> well, so what do you cover in the family history center? What, family, what do we cover in family yeah, history? Yeah. The idea is to identify your ancestors and build your, your uh, family tree so yes. that you can identify and learn more about your ancestors. I see. Going back several generations as far back as you can go. So it's kind of like uh, a detective story. Really? Wow. That's interesting. So how many uh, ethnic you have collected in your center? Well, you see, a lot of these records are available online so that you can get but the, they're being all being digitized. There are about 300 million records digitized from all over the world. There's many of them in China, Asia, Japan, and so forth sure. have been digitized. A lot of them, since it started in Europe and the U.S., there's a lot from England uh, and Germany, Scandinavia, U.S. records that are digitized. It's very interesting. <laughs> What's your name, sir? My name is Orion Wood. Orion Wood. And your phone number? Yeah. Phone number? Yeah. 510-209-1246. Thank you for your You're information. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank Take Okay, so who will tell us the uh, what Kaiser provides service to the community? Who will be the spokesperson for us? Kaiser will provide to the community. To the community? What, what kind of service you provide to the community? We promote preventative health and try to have our patients thrive throughout their life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any special program for seniors? Any special program for seniors? Any special programs? For seniors. For seniors? Um, well, we have a lot of um, education for, for seniors. Um, not so much for seniors, but for specific departments. Okay. So they caters to those patient groups. So I see. We do have that kind of program for, for mainly for the disease state. I see. Yeah. It's open to anyone. So what's your table provide us service? What kind of service so you provide today? Today what we're doing is um, we have our residents and all of our, our pharmacy students. What we're doing today is uh, providing um, information uh, about their prescription drugs. Okay. And, um, any drug interactions, any specific questions you may have, side effects, uh -huh. uh, things to avoid. So those are the kind of questions that we're hoping to provide, as well as uh, medication card, which is very important um, to carry with you in case you get admitted. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. So, so do you have the uh, contact information? Or? Um, yeah, I have. Thank you. And what's your name? My name is Kelvin Chan. I'm the drug education coordinator for Fremont. Okay. And your phone number? Contact. My phone number is 510-248-3983. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome.
talk to you yet. So I think you what should you, talk to her. Okay, all right. Okay. What service you provide today? Um, we provide non-medical in-home care and also some technology pieces as well. Medication dispenser, emergency pen mints, wow, okay. things of that nature. So what kind of technology uh, you have today? What kind of? Um, we have things like a format. This is an emergency pendant, uh -huh. so if you get in trouble, you can press it, uh -huh. and they'll come on and speak with you. Uh -huh. um, this is a medication dispenser. Medications yes. come out. So for this, how far you can reach to the patient? Um, it covers usually a whole house and out into the yard a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. It's a good idea if you're home alone. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. of course. Okay. So, do you have a list for all kind of the uh, equipment? How much do they cost? Or they charge? Um, you know, we don't have a list of the prices. Okay. But if you give us a call, okay, we'll be happy to answer any questions you have. And what's your phone number to call? Our phone number is five one zero seven nine zero nine five five five. And your company's name again? It's Comfort Keepers. Comfort Keepers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Okay, what Palo Alto Medical Center Foundation provides service to the community? What you, you want to hi. hi. You introduce us what you're doing. Um, I'm an audiologist for camp. Okay. Um, we're just here just to provide some information about hearing aids, hearing loss, um, noise protection, things like that. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Okay. Uh, this is a um, information about our resource center. We have a center for patients and non-patients. If you have any questions, you need medical answers to, we have a full-time RN staff that can help, even if you're not affiliated with PAM, you can still visit this resource center. Um, information about advanced directives and so forth, and how to talk to your doctor, things like that. Okay, I'm happy to have any questions for me? So you had a price list for all the uh, healing aids or something? Say that again? Uh, you had a price list for the healing aid? You um, these are just information regarding different topics. Okay. Like how important it is to start thinking about hearing loss and okay. uh, if you have a problem with hearing and how important it is to protect your hearing from noise, okay. um, how hearing loss can affect people and so forth. But, uh, there's a little nice questionnaire okay. when people are on the verge of, of do I, you know, a bit indecisive about do I have a hearing loss yet? So they can fill out this. If they you, score a certain score. You provide tests for them? Yes, we do hearing tests and we do hearing aids as oh, well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that a, is there a charge or it's free for the test? Uh, there, it's an insurance base. So Medicare patients are basically covered oh, through okay. Medicare, but otherwise it's mainly healthcare plans. I see. So your your customer mostly are the Medicare. Uh, mainly a lot of Medicare and just regular insurance fees. I see. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And mm -hmm. what's the contact information? Um, yeah, this is my card here. If you have any questions, and if one day you come in for a hearing test, I'll be there. Oh, you're in Fremont, right? Yes. Uh huh. Just right okay. here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sure. Is this your way of recording everybody so you can remember? Yeah.